Hello Summoners and Summonettes, Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Diana mid lane video on my man here just in a normal game, having some fun though. Hi, I'm Gordon, like have fun coming out, picking up the Deering double health pot as well as Warning Totem. I believe we're up against a brand. I think that's what the uh, the teams have finished out being. He does have Ignite and I opt for uh, Teleport, I think just because Diana's being a melee early on, the first five levels, it can be pretty rough for Diana, so you definitely just want to try and be able to farm up to potentially get two more Doran's Rings, because you're definitely going to need the Doran's Rings for mana, but you don't want to commit to a mana item on Diana, unless you go Lich Bane, which I think we will go this game, because they're actually a really squishy team. So, the triple Doran's Rings just makes you really tanky in lane, and gives you enough mana regen to get by, so you're really looking for just to hit up around 850 or 900 so you can get two rings and then you can get a couple pots as well and then you'll be good to go with the lane so I'm not looking to kill him in the first couple levels because again how am I supposed to touch a brand but also at the same time I'm just looking to survive as well so I think teleport's a lot better and you have Diana just has so much base damage already you don't really need ignite Alright, so since we are against a brand here, I'm probably going to start off with my W, just so we can W his W when he throws it out, so we can try and avoid taking any damage, and we will refresh the shield to wear off the uh, burn that's building up from him as well. He throws down a couple auto attacks, that was pretty smart of him. I'm just basically going to push this lane as hard as I can though, without putting myself at risk of, uh, ow trying to push it as hard as possible without putting myself at risk of dying to potentially a Xin Zhao gank. Once we hit 2 we'll be a lot safer to uh, CS. I need to try and bait his W out here. If he's Wing me and not the minion wave then we're in a pretty good advantageous spot because he can't push the wave as hard as we can. I'm trying to queue this. Hit both of them and hit him. Nice. Got both last hits and hit the brand there as well. Uh, the wave's actually going to push me, so I don't need to... I don't need to go anywhere. Uh, okay, we'll just land those minions. We'll miss brand. I always want to try and hit the brand as well, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Nice, jute dad on his W. Damn, Trinity are all in there with Ignite and lost to a teleport. That's always, that's always the real feels bad, man. Oh wow, I didn't get that minion. Rip. Uh, I'm gonna lose that minion to the siege minion, but that's all good. Still have two pots. I'm actually gonna pop one now, just in case. If he does hit a full combo on us, we could actually die here to his ignite as well, so. Just wanna respect that. And it's pushing into us, so. We can get the minions eventually. Just secure the siege minion. Oh, Xin Zhao was lurking. He's going in on our Zachary. I can't really do anything to help that out. So hopefully, yes, they are just disengaging. Good. Oh, I missed two, min two minions that I shouldn't have missed. Gross. We will pick up our, or sorry, our E at level five, just so we can have that for potentially setting up a gank for the Zach. But for now, we just want two points in our W, two points in our Q. Alright. Got that. What's the minions? Eh, minions. We're at, we actually have an advantage, but it's a, it's a slight one. But in this lane, for the time being, I think that's pretty good for us to have that slight advantage. Alright, I'm going to try and just push this out as hard as I can, and then probably rotate. Or, sorry, base. So we have basically the perfect amount of gold that we want to have right now. At that 9.30 mark, I'm going to grab double Dorans and maybe we try and grab a refillable pot here, actually. Boom boom, we'll sell this and get refillable pot. I actually like this buy a lot because now we have refillable pot, we don't have to commit to picking up potions at all the rest of the game, so I think it's actually pretty good. And we can just walk back to lane because he didn't push it out at all. So that's uh, very kind of him to not do that. So we actually have teleport up still, in case we get forced out of lane, or we can maybe do some crazy counter gank. And we only missed a handful of minions for uh, doing that, so 
Wow, I actually missed that minion with my Q. Sick. Sick Q. Alright, so we will be rushing the Natchez Tooth. I mean, that's just a core item on Diana. You gotta get it no matter what. And then after that, we will be looking for the Luden's Echo to potentially... Ooh, just sidestepping everything, baby. Luden's Echo, just to get that burst damage of me charging in there. We'll be pretty tanky. We'll have nice CDR with that. And we'll have crazy burst damage potential as well. So he's going to hit 6 before me because he actually didn't base. So we do have to remember... I keep missing the arc! What's wrong with me? I just missed two minions that I really should not have missed. Alright, let's see. His spells are on cooldown now, so if we can hit him with a Q, I would have gone in on that, but... Cannot. What happened? We got another kill? Oh, nice. So I'll kill top lane. Ooh, Jace went tier this game. That's, uh... Pretty bad. Tier on Jace is just so bad now, because he can get strong off, like, one or two items, but... Tier makes him have to get about three items, and he has to stack it up, so... Just delaying his spikes. Oh my god, I actually got hit by that. Alright, if he flashes for me, we can flash out. Okay. And now we have... I did have that uh, little berry to go to. Oh my god, I got interrupted. Brand is oom, so that's lucky for us. I can actually go in here. Ooh, can we? Yeah, let's do it. And we'll keep him in... We'll try and keep him in tower range. Oh, we got him. Nice. I actually played that super bad. And he died to a Jace. Rip. I jinx DC that out, kinda sucks. I put that really bad. I should have just gone in right away when I hit the uh, alt on the brand there, but then I went in after the Q passive war off. Holy shit, what are you doing here? I lose. This guy has exhaust. Yep. Oh, that random room, dude, that kinda fucked me. I have teleport though, so I can always come back, but that sucks. Alright. I think we'll just go for this, and we'll buy a control word as well. Jinx is still DC'd. She's down... Ugh. That sucks. She's back now, but... She's down a lot of CS to the Ezreal. And he has a coal in it here, and he just got a free lane, so... He's, uh... Gonna be pretty strong. Ooh, our Trinimer still killed him again. Very nice. Ping is 210. Damn, girl! Plug in your internet. Alright, Brand got an assist, I have a kill. I'm still up in CS once I gather up these minions, so... We're, we're in an okay spot. He doesn't have flash, actually, so... If he ever misuses his W in lane, or uses, like, an E or a Q, and basically just can't full combo me, I should be able to punish him really hard. So yeah, I need to look to be aggressive, but at the same time, I guess I have to uh, get some vision down first before I can do that. So yeah, actually, anytime he keys or W's, I'm just gonna go in. Oh, he's actually dead. All right. Even though he got us all off, we just we have enough damage to instantly pop him there. Ah oh, man, I don't want this to be a four v five. You actually missed that many. Perks. Missing a lot of minions that I shouldn't miss. Oh my! Ooh, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. I'm gonna back. Oh, I wish they had a deep ward bottom, because I could have teleported to uh, try and make a play. Maybe they shouldn't have backed then. Hmm. Oh well. I thought she reconnected, what the hell? Uh, I'm just gonna go bottom, I guess, because mid's pushed in. We'll try and gather up the wave and see what we can do. Zach. Cover mid. That's sick. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tell him to cover mid because. Oh, can we kill this guy? Oh no! Alright, we're not doing anything off that play. Because there is no play there. He still has his E, so yeah, we just can't do anything here. Oh my god, I shouldn't. That guy should have expected me to sidestep that hook and he just. I sidestepped it and then he just got nailed by the hook. Alright, and then Zach gets... Damn, dude, everything's going wrong in this game! Because freaking Jinx DC'd. Uh, it's bad. Alright. Oh, we actually got first tower first. Nice. 
Okay, okay. Trinimer is going to be just incredibly big this game. Let's just push this out and uh, see if we can maybe stop their dragon. I think that's where they're at. Oh, we got the siege minion this time, boys. I actually am at risk of getting grabbed. Hmm. This guy's red buff. They just got dragon, so they'd be coming from the bot side of the map if they came at all. So I should play towards the top side. We both don't have flash up still. We're at the same flashes because he flashed for me and I flashed away. Alright. It's just gonna let me wail out this turret for free. I can take this entire turret. Diana destroys towers. Even though I don't have my uh, stinger yet, I can still proc my passive on towers and just annihilate it. So we got a huge chunk of damage down on that mid turret for free. I don't know why he based right there. That's actually super awkward. All right, we'll miss two of those minions, but or sorry, one of those. Eh, I can back now. Do I have the entire Nashers? Nope. I honestly didn't know what the cost was with Phoenix Codex. Maybe we'll try and stay for it. If we get one more kill, we'll have it. Zach could potentially come mid, and we could pop the guy. He will have flash though. Alright, we'll see if this guy will just randomly W, or just randomly walk up and... Ooh, that's not how you want to gank, though. He should have looked to step in the, uh, top bush, because we saw that Brand Ward at the bottom mid bush. Oh, no, you don't want to invade when your E's down now, either. Oh, please, friend. I can't go over there, because they have bot priority. Oh, he's actually just straight up killing him. Jeez, Louise, I did not expect that to happen. Alright, Jay's just asking to die. Alright, and we'll just live. We'll try and pull that away so it doesn't bounce, and we're all living. We're chilling. That Zat, or that Jay's just suicided, so now we definitely have enough gold for our Nashers. I've been having pretty bad placements on my keys, missing uh, the arc of the lane to hit all the minions that I want to hit. Alright, I think we'll just leave the wave there, and then we'll look to teleport behind bottom. Oh, she got grabbed, and she died before the Bart ult could save her. Really unlucky. I'm just going to teleport bottom. Screw it. Uh, on the next wave, actually. Uh, I'm going to sell my control ward. I should have placed it before I went back. Alright, let's see if we could... Oh no, he's backing. I really wanted to teleport behind them. Oh, he's going to do it now? Okay. Well, the tower is like already dead, so... Oh, he just E'd. This guy actually dies. Okay. Blitz might go for the tower. Yeah, he's gonna get the tower before he dies. That's a smart play by Blitz. And dead. Alright, and they gave me the kill. Cool. So we're 4-1-1 one, one now. Jinx DC'd again, so we are in a 4v5, and it's probably gonna be a 4v5 for the majority of the game, which is uh, very unfortunate, but we will make it happen here. Or attempt to make it happen. I should be able to actually take this entire bot turret unless somebody comes. Because again I have my Nashor's Tooth completed. Alright. So we'll just try and push that up. Cool. Let's start wailing at this tower. Yeah we are gonna destroy this thing. Ezreal's probably gonna ult down here actually so I'll just be ready to use W. There we go. It actually hits us first, which makes it hit do a lot less damage to the minions there. And we basically negated his entire alt with our W, so... We almost took the entire turret. I might have been able to commit to it a little bit harder, but I knew uh, Xin Zhao was in the area, so... I'll just back off for now. Actually, I wonder. Ah, uh, that minion just screwed me. I, I should have just tried to sneak in that bush right away, actually. That would have been the play. Alright, I'm sorry Jinx, but I want to take all your minions here. Blitz is coming. We can actually... Oh, no we cannot. Alright, Blitz is bad, but Jinx might die still if she gets... Okay, good flash. I have to flash just because he flashes for me. It's pretty lame, but... If I get knocked up where I was knocked up, Zen Zhao could have uh, gotten on top of me, so... Flash for flash. But Jinx ended up flashing too, I guess, so... Eh. 
Eventually we will have to uh, sell our one of our dorms or our refillable pot. Ooh, that's a really good bard alt. I just have to watch Brand alt. Okay, good focus. And Zach's the only one who dies with passive. Beautifully done by the team. He's gonna die to red buff. Yep, wasted his flash. Wow, dude, this streamer is popping off. They played that really well. Brand uh, put all of his damage into the Zach. Zach just revived with his passive. And then Trinomir just did Trinomir things. So we should be able to get the Drake when it spawns, and we'll get mid tower as well. That's not a smart idea though. Without Manins, you take a lot more damage and do a lot less damage to towers. Maybe we can get this mid turret too. We could just dive this guy. If I hit him with a key, we can dive. I want to stand in front of the minion wave actually and use W just so we can absorb. Yep, save our minion wave. And we actually saved the Jinx there. Jinx, oh my god, that was a. <laughs> Nobody saw that portal, my friend. <laughs> He tried to take it too. I really want to go in on this. Oh, this guy's dead. Okay. Just got the jump on him. This guy's gonna die too. Alright. And he's gonna get locked down. Good. Free kills. And now we get a free dragon as well. Cool. Everyone on board. Oh shit, this guy's going in. Okay. E over. Ooh, I think. I yeah, I'm definitely on a ward. I'm just gonna go to dragon here and start it. Alright, should be a free dragon. I can tank it if this guy's uh, at all afraid of dying. We both shouldn't tank it though. Get off of me! Why are we- he's making us both tank. It's dumb. Alright, we will go back and... Oh my god, did Trinimer get an inhibitor? Took an inhibitor turret. What the hell dude? This guy's just popping off. Alright, we can buy our needlessly large rod now component of the whatever it's called uh-oh 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 oh. component of the Luden's Echo I cannot think of what it was called for the life of me all right yeah, I'll just split push bottom my teleport will be up in about 40 seconds we can have Trinmere sit top I can go bottom and we'll just pressure the sidelines nobody can 1v1 us and both of us can probably you can definitely 2v1, I can probably 2v1 if I play it right. But we have a lot of... A lot of upfront damage, so... We're in a good spot right now. Alright, let's just get this pushed. So we can pressure the map here. Alright. I definitely think Diana's a really good solo queue champion though. Uh, a lot of people are playing her in high rated solo queue at the moment, just because she can... Basically, one v one almost anybody in the game, and she just has so much freaking upfront damage. Where uh, in solo key, you can just make picks on people when they're not paying attention, and just automatically start the fight with a man advantage. All right, she does pretty well into tanks too. I was thinking Ezreal might path that way. He is gonna path that way. Oh, baited. Okay, I can't go for the Ezreal because I'm pretty sure he just knows at all times where I am. Because I, I would think they would have that warded where I was standing. He actually just E'd. And I don't want to go to him because he has his E, unless I see him use his E. So I'd rather just try and go for the Blitz there. But Trinomir is just getting an inhib the entire time. And now they're all going to chase Trinomir and we're going to be able to just destroy this uh, mid inhib tower at least. He got the inhib before he died. Good. We'll finish off the tower, and then we'll just look to uh, potentially go for a dive here. Oh, I brought that into my entire team. I'm trolling. Alright. Might be able to pick this. No, let's not. <laughs> I'm actually trolling. I brought that entire all into my team. Luckily, nobody died. I could have actually ulted away from my team, and... Oh my god, actually, can I do this? What is wrong with me? Should have stayed. Instead, I'm almost dying to minions. Alright, let's just go ahead and base. Ezreal does have ult up, I'm actually so scared. No! Oh my god, whew! That's why you always, when you're backing against somebody like an Ezreal or a Jinx, you pan that camera down so you can see that all, baby. If I was just chilling, backing like this right now, I'd be dead, but... Paid attention, had the awareness, and now we have our Luden's Echo, I almost call it Runic Echo, and we have our life as well. I'm just gonna go bot again, I kinda wanna... You know what? I might just dive the Ezreal. Screw it. 
what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna run at him. R. I won't get the reset on my R, but then he's gonna E away. I'm gonna E. I'm gonna buffer my E. Flash so I can move the E basically because it has a slight cast time on it, and then we will try and just kill him with a QW on top of him. That's gonna happen. I'm predicting the future right now. We're just gonna lead with an alt onto Ezreal. He's gonna E away. We're gonna buffer flash E. QW, he's dead. I guess we could do it to somebody else too. It, it could work on like Brand if he has flash as well, but I'm banking on it being Ezreal. Trinomir just suiciding. I like it. Alright, let's just go ahead here and. Oh my god. Okay, that guy's trolling by coming into me. Should have just tried to run away. Ah, uh, don't kill Ezreal. No, we actually killed Ezreal. I didn't want him to kill Ezreal. Oh no! And the bard all hits right after the passive hits too. That's really unlucky. I can actually kill everybody here. Oh, that's kind of funky interaction. All right, we'll live too with our W. Okay, 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 okay. It works. I didn't get to uh, do the original game plan, but I guess that can. No, they surrendered. Okay, let's buy our sheen so we look like we can do something. All right, we did it. Dang, we actually just popped off super hard, and it was basically a 4v5 the entire time. Their bot lane got super far ahead, but it just didn't matter. Our Trinomir gave up first blood, I think, right? And then he just came back and destroyed the rest of the game, and I was able to pick up kills here and there. What the heck was that, dude? Damn, that damage. I didn't even, like, have time to, like, really pop off. We had a lot of damage, though, but, uh... Yeah, Diana's pretty fun. This was unfortunately a short game. Shorter than I thought it would be considering it was a 4v5. I just <laughs> Trinomir put in so much work, dude. We had so much pressure early on because of him. And, uh, yeah. GG. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, as well as when it's in the info box down below. And as always, I'll see you all next time.